Coming up on this captain's vlog, I find a tool. I've just been looking for this tool. I hit something with my hammer. I tapped it lightly with my hammer. And the toilet sounds like shit. Obviously, I'm out on the boat. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me through the wind. I'm out on the water, on the actual ocean, not just in the, in the harbor. Uh, uh, I got the sail up. And the jib, of course, is down because I've got that at home. Um, you can see my woodworking that I did. I finished all that stuff right there. And on this side too, you can't really see it on this side as well. But And then uh, I'm working on the, the windows and the hatches up there in the front. And then I have to finish all this. So lots of sanding and stuff to do. But I thought I'd go out and put up the sails, see what's up. Just trying to avoid crab pots, they're everywhere. Anyway, just a quick update from uh, the Bodega Bay, California. I've just been looking for this tool and I found it. And what this tool is, is a little thing for the water intake on the boat. And I haven't done anything with the plumbing. I just don't know what I'm doing. So today we're gonna experiment. See, first of all, if I can get the damn thing open. I actually found this one, which I believe uh, is for that one. That's for the waste. Back to this job, to uh, things I want to do. The first thing I wanted to do was measure the stern of my boat for the solar arch that I need to build. The plan is to use plastic fittings attached to the safety stanchions and then create a reinforced PVC frame, but I'll cover all that in another video. Next, I pulled everything out of the stern lazarette. A lazarette is a locker, apparently. Uh, there was a bunch of old line, a brand new snubber, more lines, which are ropes, an old PDF that I'll never wear, another anchor, which seems pretty nice. Nice anchor road that needs measuring. I'm guessing at least it's 50 feet long. A bunch of chain, maybe 25 feet of chain. And then I put it all back in. thing here this little these little tiny marine bottles that are basically good for one night um, and this is a, a solenoid um, safety valve essentially when you want to use gas inside the inside the boat you trip a switch opens up the valve um, and so you only have gas running through the boat when you need when you need it um, and this is another safety thing. 
You want to keep all the stuff outside of the boat because you don't want to put it inside the locker because it can leak and if it leaks it all drains down into the bilge and then kaboom. So I think I'm going to move this apparatus right here to somewhere over here just mount it like I don't know somewhere back there and then I have a milk crate right here where a much bigger bottle of propane is going to go but there's still a drain from this little back locker there's a drain right there so if there was a leak in the tank it could drain overboard um, and all this stuff will be outside as well so um, that's the plan okay so I came back to this job wearing my cool shades check them out um, and I figured something out. I got these two bolts that uh, kind of sort of fit the holes because again, I don't have the key for this thing. And I tapped it lightly with my hammer and I got it to come open. So it is open and I can fiddle around with the water system now. All right, first job is to clean that up. Okay, so we got the water here. Fresh water going in to the boat. Let's go see if it's going to the right spot. I think it is. Okay, so this is my fresh water tank. I don't know, it doesn't look that big. It's probably like five gallons, maybe 10 gallons. I really don't know. There's a number on it, whatever that means. But anyway. So far so good, water's going into the right spot and it's not pouring out onto the floor or anywhere else. Okay, here's the situation. Bathroom water. Exists. Toilet water. Mm, I got it on. I really don't know which. I think this is flush. I think we're supposed to be seeing a lot more water flushing shit away. And it's not working. You put it on dry, empties it out. That seems to be working. But flush does not seem to be working. I don't know if I have it like the wrong, you know, some of these, there's a, there's a switch right here, not a switch, but a thing, <laughs> you know, a thing, um, <coughs> that lets you switch between something and something else, but I don't know if that does anything, let's try again. <laughs> not working maybe there's a problem with the um, the gasket or something in this little pumpy deal that's a possibility don't know but here's another problem Let me get out of the bathroom came up here to try the kitchen little faucet which does not work I tried it forever it still doesn't work and then I came down here and I heard something leaking and it was this pipe right here was just like lying off to the side. There it goes, see? As soon as I as soon as I lower it, that means there's well, that come that's coming from the the main tank, I suppose. And then I was like, well, where does it go? And then I discovered that pipe right there going across the top of the engine. 
which is a horrible place for it to go since it's just plastic. And it was just lying there and there was this clampy clamp thing on the end of that. And so I'm assuming that this goes to the little pump up here and it's not, it's not plugged in. So I gotta see how I can connect that end to this end. Okay, so here's what I did. I just shoved that one smaller hose into the larger hose and then tightened up on this little um, hose clamp a little bit. There's nothing really to tighten down onto except another soft hose. So that's not, that's not the best option, but I think that's what they were doing before. That's why it was just lying there. And whatever happens, I can tell you that now have I now have water and I'm assuming that just drains out into the ocean I really don't know I think it just drains out into the ocean anyway so I got two functioning sinks and a not functioning toilet Okay, so the woodworking that I've done has left some kind of stains. This is probably from condensation in the mornings or whatever dripping off uh, onto the, to the deck there and it's leaving a stain. So I'm just trying to see how hard it is to clean that up. This is just a soapy sponge. And it doesn't look like it's that hard at all, which is good. Thank you for watching my super exciting intro to sailboat plumbing video. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps so much. Love the comments. Keep them coming, please. Uh, and thanks again for watching.